Building a high-performing team that works cohesively together is crucial to employers. Even the biggest businesses are only as strong as their weakest team. When going through the hiring process, interviewers are looking for candidates who seem like they'll work well alongside others. In this video, we will tell you the traits of a great team player. Ten. Self-aware. In order to be a great team player, it's crucial to have an unbiased awareness of what you're good at and what you suck at. As legendary entrepreneur and YouTube star Gary Vaynerchuk says, self-awareness is being able to accept your weaknesses while focusing all of your attention on your strengths. In the modern era, we're conditioned to improve our weaknesses rather than doubling down on our strengths. When you follow this path, it's hard to rise above mediocrity. However, when you're brutally honest about your weaknesses, you can finally accept them and hone other skills that will make you extremely valuable to your employer. Strong teams benefit when individual members are fully aware of their strengths and weaknesses. But it's especially important that leaders understand the key attributes of their subordinates. Good leaders know how to delegate effectively, while bad leaders give inappropriate work to the wrong workers. If you're a good copywriter, you might excel at crafting thoughtful words in solitude but perform badly when forced to interact with clients face to face. Likewise, a good sales rep can easily build rapport with prospective clients, but they might not be good at producing well-researched blog posts for the company's website. With this in mind, if you read most job descriptions, you could come to the conclusion that companies are only looking for outrageously extroverted salespeople for every single role. The ideal team player should be an expert in their chosen disciplines. They shouldn't be expected to switch roles with one another when there isn't a major overlap in competencies. For the same reason that Hightower plays as a linebacker and Brady plays as a quarterback, putting individuals in roles where they can fully utilize their talents is essential if you want effective teams that function optimally. 9. Committed to Mastery If you're content to let your skills stagnate, then you will never fulfill your potential as a strong team member in any organization. This is particularly crucial in the information age, where industries are changing rapidly and certain skill sets are becoming obsolete overnight. As Robert Greene, author of Mastery, states, The time that leads to mastery is dependent on the intensity of our focus. Great team players make time in their weekly schedule for refining their talents and adding new tricks to their repertoires. When every member of the team is committed to personal growth, this not only creates an awesome working atmosphere, but it constantly brings new information into the organization, which assists creative problem solving. 8. Intrinsically Motivated Most employees are heavily motivated by financial gain. This isn't a good thing or a bad thing, it's just an economic reality. This elephant in the room is apparent to both employers and new candidates when that popular interview question is asked, so, what attracted you to this role? There is nothing wrong with doing a job for money, but if you're doing it only for money, then you'll never be a great team member. Anyone who has achieved a level of mastery at a skill appreciates the daily ritual of practice. This intrinsic motivation should inspire you to turn up day in, day out, irrespective of the accolades. It's very difficult to be enthusiastic about something when extrinsic motivations like money, fame, and praise are all that you have. If you're intrinsically motivated to perform the daily tasks in your vocation, you're either in an environment where your talents are not being maximized, or you're in the wrong vocation. In both cases, you need to make a change, immediately. 7. Reliable While most employers prioritize personality traits over skills to a preposterous extent, reliability is another one of those essential characteristics of a team player that every employer should screen for. Even if a person has a phenomenal skill set, if they're wishy-washy and don't follow through on their promises, then they're not an effective team player. Although reliability is considered to be a fixed trait, environmental factors also impact the reliability of employees. For instance, if a team member strives to do their best, but their boss gives them no praise and constantly takes credit for the work, this individual will certainly become less reliable. 6. Honest the best team players are honest about their achievements as well as their shortcomings. Everyone makes mistakes from time to time, but when people try to shift the blame and weave false narratives, disasters can occur. Entrepreneur and author James Altucher once said, Honesty is the fastest way to prevent a mistake from turning into a failure. Bad news can be difficult to handle, but the sooner you embrace the truth, the faster you can innovate and come to a solution. Being honest doesn't mean being brazen. 
you can deliver constructive criticisms tactfully without hurting anyone's feelings. When you're dealing with an honest person, you know where you stand with them. You don't have to worry about them spinning narratives in order to achieve a certain agenda. They just say it as it is. When rapport is based on authenticity rather than falsehood, this creates deeper relationships. When team members relate to one another better, they also produce greater results for the organization. 5. Positive Being positive doesn't mean behaving like Barney the Dinosaur, singing gleeful songs to your colleagues and exchanging hugs every day. Positivity isn't about how smiley and talkative you are, it's a mindset. You can be positive in a low-key manner and still have a wonderful impact on your teammates. When you're conscious about staying positive, you'll see failure as feedback rather than a cataclysmic disaster. Positivity means finding a solution to a problem rather than passing the blame and dwelling on things you can't control. Research shows that positive employees are 12% more productive. Additionally, when you're happy, you make better decisions, feel healthier, and make your colleagues happier and more productive, too, by demonstrating a good team ethic. 4. Empathic Have you ever heard the adage, treat people how they want to be treated? This is atrocious advice. Here is a much better tip. Treat people how you want to be treated. Empathy is about being aware of how other people feel. If you're unable to put yourself in someone else's shoes and see things from their viewpoint, people are not going to enjoy working with you. Sure, employees of the Patrick Bateman variety can get ahead by manipulating and exploiting those around them, but more often than not, this creates resentment which eventually leads to the person's downfall. Fortunately, empathy isn't a fixed attribute. It's something you can improve. Learning how to listen to your colleagues and assess their mood based on their subcommunications will make you an outstanding team player. 3. Good Communicator It's impossible to work together as a team if individual members don't fully understand one another. Communication skills are imperative for anyone working in a team environment. Arguably, the most important communication skill is knowing how to give tactful, constructive criticism. While you might be voicing a criticism for the purpose of driving the team forward and solving a problem, if you're not careful, the person on the receiving end may view it as a personal attack. By showing appreciation for what the person did well and then explaining what they could have done better, this creates a positive framework for the criticism and will lead to a much more positive outcome. In terms of delivering criticisms, there are cultural aspects to consider. What's considered direct communication in Holland might be considered a social faux pas in England, so be sure your style of communication reflects the culture of your country as well as the culture of your company. 2. Confident Most people would associate confidence with someone like Anthony Robbins. Bold, effervescent, and commanding. However, you don't need to be a consummate extrovert to have a deep belief in your inherent worth and abilities. People prefer to work with confident, not arrogant, teammates for a number of reasons. When you have a positive self-image, you're less inclined to engage in passive-aggressive behavior and gossip, which primarily serves as a short-term self-esteem boost. Confident people prefer to give compliments that make others feel better, rather than slander their colleagues. Also, confident people aren't as emotionally reactive to failure and criticism. While an insecure person may view constructive criticism as a personal attack, a confident person will view the same information as feedback that they can use to make improvements. Number 1. Able to Multitask In the modern era, employees rarely have the chance to focus on one project at a time. In most situations, employees are required to juggle a handful of tasks while rigidly adhering to deadlines. For this reason, multitasking is one of the most common traits that employers screen for in job interviews. It's no surprise that employees who are able to multitask effectively are always well organized. By sticking to a daily sleep and exercise routine, decluttering your desk regularly, writing down information that you can't remember, and creating a task list in the mornings for your workdays, your ability to multitask will improve exponentially. Naturally, procrastination is the antithesis of multitasking. If you're avoiding tackling tasks when you're supposed to be hard at work, this will negatively affect all the projects on your calendar when a backlog ensues. By cutting off distractions such as email and phone notifications while you work, you'll find it easier to overcome procrastination. Also, you may get better results by doing your least favorite tasks early in the morning and giving yourself small rewards for tasks completed. By striving for consistency instead of perfectionism, your productivity and ability to multitask will increase. Do let us know in the comments if you are the good team player. Thanks for watching.